All right, ladies and gentlemen, karibu sana katika mzuka Kibao TV. Of course, na ito wandiga kalambuada siku ya leo. Nimeamua ni tafuto nyiti bim, kusabu, uh, I think ni karibu two years. Tulionana muisho two years, wakati siasa ilikuwa mepamba. Na interview tulifanya na ye muisho, uh, kidogo ilifanya maisha kia kuwa atarini. Nsawa, uh, anacheka because anajua ni ukweli. Ilikuwa ya siasa. But now, uh, nimekuja tuguze siasa kidogo, sio sana, because ajia uh, sasa pia uh, lazima mtu tu aongelee siasa ndio maisha ikuwe kama kama siasa na mchezo lese siasa na football ni kitu watu wanaangalia kila siku so taguza siasa kidogo and of course eh, pia music kwa sababu uh, sasa hivi kuna vile na trend mahali uh, pia tutakuwa tunashika hiyo onyi tv mkwaje lakini bro uh, as you can see mimi niko fit maana uko fit <laughs> niko poa kabisa eh uh. kamera person wangu alikuwa anasema mbona nisi nisikuambie like man ume invest sasa nilikuwa nataka nikwambie mbele ya kamera ume invest <laughs> <laughs> yes lazima tu invest hizi mm. uh, pesa unajua naweza kuwa na millions of money unaenda kuzikunywa unakunywa busa unakunywa gilbi cbcd mm. mimi sasa pesa zangu nimeamua ku invest kwa studio mm. yes Tujaonana 2 years ukwaje lakini bro. Ah uh, mimi niko poa. Mambo yangu iko safi na naona sioni kama naja laumu mm. Mungu anasaidia. Mm. Kwa haraka sana. Hivi hivi umevaa ndio unavaa ukiwa kwa studio hii suti yote. E, unajua sasa umenipata ofisini mm. na unajua ukiwa CEO CEO eh, pia eh, physical appearance lazima ukae CEO. Mm. So I mean kiwa pa studio. Mm na kuaga kwa napendaga kwa official yes lazima ni heshima ofisi eh si CEO TB family bro siasa inakupeleka aje mm sasa iko hapo lakini sio unajua tena siasa za Kenya zime change sana na ina confuse pia sana <laughs> sasa unajua imefika mahali sasa ah tumebaki kuangalia tuna macho sasa eh, so mimi mimi yenyewe mimi sasa hivi nimeamua tu ku invest through time yangu akili yangu na pia uh, nguvu zangu kwa muziki e, muziki nikisema muziki na maanisha hapa ndani ya Tibim Family International Studio na pia muziki zangu binafsi kama onyi ya yeah. mm. so uh, saivi Raila watu wanapigania sana ende AU what you take on that because wewe ni kama wandani wa Raila Kitambo siku hizi uko UDA what you take on that uh, mimi mimi na support sana swala la Raila kwenda AU sababu moja ni kwamba Raila alikuwa anaenda kumaliza siasa vibaya kwa sababu ya wrong advices ambao anapewa na baadhi ya wanasiasa wenye wako hapa nchini ya kwamba lazima simame tu kwa sababu unajua kuna watu wenye wanajua kabisa kwamba Raila kitoka hata ukuchaguliwa wao kukuwa ta chairman wa matanga haiwezekani. So watu kama hao ni watu wenye wamengangania wana, sana kwenye koti ya Raila kwamba Raila 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 amesema baba amesema. So because I'm among the movement yenye I support sana hiyo mambo ya kuinuliwa mkono. Tunataka watu wachaguliwe kulingana na kazi zao sio kwa sababu imesemwa na baba. Unajua baba anaheshimika sana 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 Luland tumerudi nyuma sana kwa sababu tumekuwa tukichagua watu kulingana kwamba tunaona anatembea na baba. So saa hii this thing is coming to an end where tutakuchagua kulingana na kazi ambayo unafaa. Sisi hatutaki kujua umevaa nguo gani. Ukikuja na nguo ya red, umekuja na nguo ya white, umekuja na hata na hiyo ya orange, hata ukikuja na ya yellow. Bora tu unaweza tuambia nichagueni kwa sababu mimi nimefanya kazi fulani watoto fulani walikuwa wamekwama hawezi enda shule wewe umewapeleka hospitali fulani hazikuwa na hospitali na dawa umeweka maji stima barabara soko unawezesha vijana wa mama wanafanya biashara zao kwa sababu ya support yako kama kiongozi tunakupatia kura unaelewa hii mambo ya kwamba sijui nichagueni naenda kusaidia baba sasa is coming to an eh to an end So mimi na support sana swala la baba kwenda AU mzee ameshapigania sana hii inchi ametufanyia mambo mengi makubwa demokrasia tumeona devolution tumeona multi party tumeona aende apumzike aweze kusave sasa the entire Africa sasa mimi naambia watu wanaobaki sasa wewe sasa utapambana na hali ya hali yako so I'm supporting
Yes. Una kusema tio ni chagwe nende ni saide baba huko juu. Eti baba amesema. Zasa baba amesema imefi, imeisha. So alafu najua saai siyasa. Uh, unajua His Excellency William Samuel Ruto pamoja na DP Rigiji wame introduce kitu nzuri sana kwa politics za Kenya where you don't come telling us what you are going to do you are coming showing us what you have done you see so that is how it is wewe kama uko na vision ya kusimama 2027 ingia kwa ground sasa hivi fanya kazi wewe ikifika 2027 show us what you have done tutakupea kura unajua sisi mambo ya historia tutaki kujua sijui tu ilikuwa siasa suji nini mwaka gani suji mzee fulani alifanya nini suji 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 chama chetu tumetoka nao suji wapi hatutaki kujua what we want to know ni kwamba daraja fulani ilikuwa mbaya mheshimiwa fulani ametengeneza watoto walikuwa wasomi watoto wanasoma those are the things we want to see unaelewa sisi historia hadithi za zimeenda zikapanda abcd atutaki unajua vijana wamechukua kura tunawaita young people alafu tunaitaka inataka eh, virgin votes ziko mingi na ukumbuke vijana wanapiga kura na wanalinda kura zao na sasa hii they are almost almost they are the most percentage ya voters so vijana we unataka kuja kuweka kijana wa, wa 19 years na story ya kwamba unajua mwaka suji na ya, ya 70s suji what hataki kujua hizo stories za 70s ya nataka kujua kwamba ni nini imefanyika kwa sasa that is it tu, tuache siasa kidogo uh, tuongelee swala nzima la mziki because sasa hivi umesema kwamba wewe kitu unafanya sasa hivi ni music uh, music each and every day okay uh, now kwa music uh, tumeona clip flani Mr Ked akisema kwamba <laughs> umepambana hakuna <laughs> jondra music ame, amekosa ama hajataja kwamba unyi amejaribu hii na hii na hii imeshindikana what can you say about his statement Mm, unajua Mr. Kede anaongea kulingana na yeye na unajua pia nilikuwa nataka <coughs> niongee na mheshimiwa rais kama ataweza kunikubalia anipe kitu kidogo nataka tupeleke huyu kijana madhare pale tumpime kichwa kwa sababu namwangalia ni kama hayuko sawa vile Mr. Kede ni kama kuna kanat either moja ama mbili au tatu zilikatika pale. So yeye pia ameongea tu kulingana na ujinga yake. Anasema ya kwamba onyi amejaribu hii imefail, onyi amejaribu hii imefail. Na sasa hizo mimi anasema ni imefail na niko kwa studio yangu ya worth more than 10 million. Na umevaa suti. Na nimevaa suti <laughs> suti yenye si ya Kenya. Three piece. Three piece. Mm. Ama ndio hii ingine. Mm. Angalia hii studio. Hii studio ni milioni ngapi? Somebody is telling me ni, ni, mimi nime fail yet wanaone huruma it is fine watu wa subscribe tu nyimbo watu wasikilize muziki lakini sio kwa sababu nime fail mimi watu wa kitwa wenye wame succeed kwa music Kenya mimi nitakuwa kwa line nikipanga line kwamba mimi ni am among them i don't wait for some people to come kuniambia kwamba nime succeed i myself i know where i came from Najua vile nilianza wewe pia unaweza kuwa shahidi wewe ushakuwa na mimi muda mrefu sasa hivi kuna utofauti mkubwa sana na sana sana tangu nilipoanza kuimba uh, Mr Hasla 001 uh, mambo si si mbaya mambo ni vizuri na tasikuizi na, na, na onaga nikienda kupima naona kilo inaongezeka nikiangalia kwa kwa kamera naonaga pia na glow So mambo yangu mimi na mimi mambo yangu ni safi. Unaelewa? Alafu pia <laughs> mimi hautakutana na posta zangu kila weekend ituonia na perform sijui wapi. Lakini mambo yangu iko safi. So nimejipanga. Kwa hivyo mimi siwezi nikasema nimefail. Mimi niko sawa. Wakati unasema kwamba hatuwezi kutana na posta yako na perform kila mali which means wasanii ambao wana perform kila mali bado wanateseka mambo yao si sawa. Eh, hey, ndio hivyo. Wanatafuta pesa bro. Wanatafuta pesa kwa sababu hawana. Wewe <laughs> utatafuta kitu ulicho nacho. Hawana. Na si mbaya pia. Lakini a very serious artist like Onyiti Bim. Hawezi <laughs> kuperform kila wiki. That is not that is hiyo ni jokes. Piga show moja ya mwaka. Mm. Eh. Mimi sasa hivi nakaga hivi. Kaspul, unataka Kaspul? Mm. Eh, Kaspul anza niambia nyi, chawa ya rais. Mm. Unyi leo twende state house bwana. Mm. Eh, unaenda pale state house. 
Naimba wimbo hata unaimbia hata watu wawili tu. <laughs> Ukitoka hapo miezi miwili mambo yako iko safi. Unaelewa? Unaona mimi studio yangu. Mimi studio yangu hapa hivi nakaaga tu hapa hivi napiga piga mziki tu. Na vijana wenye wako nje huko na talent na waleta hapa na record free of charge kwa sababu mambo yangu iko safi. Unaelewa? Uh, mimi nilikuwa naishi Dandora. Yeah, yeah, sure. Saisi Dandora. Nilikuwa naenda ku record kwa studio za wenyewe. Saisi ndi ku record kwa studio za wenyewe. Nilikuwa na vaa maragets, sasa ina vaa suti. Ukiangalia uso yangu ilikuwa imepauka. Sikuizi inang'aa na nina glow. So mambo yangu iko safi. Kwa hivyo Mr. Kede ni kama tu ni uendazimu inazidi kupanda. <laughs> yes. So the only thing you are saying Mr. Kede uendazimu ina imepanda. In, in, yeah, uh, and uh, I'm not sure kama bado kuna binadamu anachukuliaga vitu za Mr. Kede kwa serious but na huyo pia anahitaji maombi. Jamii inaitwa onyija lamu. Mm-hmm. Eh mtu yote mwenye anachukulia kede serious huyo mm-hmm. mtu pia ako na matatizo. Mm-hmm. Um, but atuwezi tukamnini sana 100%. Kuna mambo mengine anaongea ukweli. ukweli. Eh, sometimes kuna mambo anaongea ukweli anajaribu kuweka jawa on toes. Mm-hmm. Eh hizi story stories za gulu ABCD zingine ziko kweli. hapo mm-hmm. uh, kuonyi tu peke yake ndiye anasemaga uongo. Vitu zote Mr. Kede anasemaga ni ukweli. Lakini kwangu ndio anasemaga uongo only. <laughs> uh-huh. Yes. Wewe ukiona Mr. Kede ameongea hiyo uh-huh. ni ukweli. Uh-huh. Bora si historia onyi. Uh-huh. Lakini kwa onyi uongo. Bivo. Ulecha kwenda church. Uh, sijaacha kwenda church. Uh-huh. Eh kwenda kuacha kwenda church ni kuisha. Eh sisi kosa kwenda church kwa sababu haya mambo yote unaona tunayafanya ni kwa neema. Na unajua pia tena bado tumeshikana na His Excellency William Samuel Ruto. Na unajua kabisa kwamba rais wetu anamini sana katika Mungu na katika maombi. Sasa wewe unaona hata sikizi mambo za tibi mnatela la sizisemi sana kwa sababu mimi ni onyi mpya. Yeah. Sasa huyu ndio onyi jalamo. Sasa huyu ndio onyi jalamo original. Eh wachana na ile matiala na matibi ile tuliona ni ku waste time na so wewe ulisikia <laughs> ilisemwa pale nani Supreme Court mm-hmm. ulisikia nani CJ akisema nini hot air mm-hmm. matibi na matiala la hot air eh na onyi eh, umesema kwamba wewe unapiga show moja na mambo yako iko sawa show yako ya mwisho ulipiga ah, ulilipwa how much na ulipiga wapi uh, show yangu ya mwisho nilipiga ilikuwa private with private people na nililipwa pesa private pia <laughs> eh hiyo pesa private labda ilisha after how long bado iko eh kulingana na sasa hivi hali ilivyo ngumu Kenya kuna pesa zingine ukimention unapea watu wengine pressure lakini mimi nakumbuka show yangu nilifika ya mwisho kwa last month eh nilipiga kule Lovington ilikuwa show ilikuwa na watu 14 14 people na watu 14 kila mtu alilipa 50000 50,000 director ni pigi 50,000 times 14 ni how much 50,000 times 14 ni pigi ni how much now uh, bro uh, watu wanasema kwamba au perform because auna 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 ma fans watu ambao watakuja kwa show yako is this true uh, kwanza mm-hmm. niko na girlfriends Nao girlfriends wananiambia ga wenyewe unaimba poa mm-hmm. sio ni fans. <laughs> na kulingana na English teacher wangu mm-hmm. aliniambia utofauti kati ya fan na fans mm-hmm. ni just one. Mm-hmm. Akiwa moja ni fan. Mm-hmm. I myself mm-hmm. I love my songs. Mm-hmm. Mimi ni fan. Yeah. Then my sons I have two sons. Mm-hmm. Unasikia kwa kichezo kuna Dada anajua kuimba. Dada ndo anajua kuimba. They are my fans. Yeah. My girlfriends mm-hmm. wananiambia babe, akiwa unaimba gapoa. Mm-hmm. 
Those are my fans. So, niko na fans. Unaelewa? Na nikienda na wewe kwenu sasa hii utajikuta ya kwamba 95% ya watu wa kwenu wananijua wewe hawakujui. True story. <laughs> sasa mimi sijui nafaa kuwa na fans wenye wanafanya nini. Na huyo unasema hana fans. Song yangu last series ile nilifanya ya Zimio iko na tu ya sasa hii naelekea 3 million views. Song yangu ya Tibim inaelekea iko na 5 million views. Na unasema sina fans. Sasa sijui fans. Wana inafaa mtu akuwe na followers wangapi mm-hmm. ndio akuwe na fans. So mimi niko na fans. Yeah. Sana. Na bro, show ya mwisho ulifanya ulilipwa Kenya shillings that 700,000. Wow. So to after interview utatupatia kidogo. Hata kama ni kao kao. Tuko wata tuko nne tu tuko wengi. Eh. Sasa shida niko nayo ni kwamba wale wakati wanalipa ile pesa wako niambia niende nigawe wale niambia nyinyi umeimba vizuri tunakupea hii so nililipwa tu nitumie mm, lakini nyinyi pia tunaona vile tutafanya e, ya mwezi lala njam kisha kukutana na his tibimness mtu wa rais na lala njaje uwezi lala njana na una, unaongea na mtu wa rais yes Bro, uh, uh, samani sana kukurudisha nyuma kidogo. Uh, almost, I uh, think ni over five years. Over five years ago, uh, uliweza kupoteza mke um, wako, ambayo ni shemeji yetu. Na miaka zimeenda vile nasema ni over five years. Siko sure, but I think ni over five years. Eh? Uh, juzi, ndo umeza kutuwa tribute song. Mbona ulichukua time sana ndi uweze kufanya tribute song life after f- over five years? Yeah, mm, e song nimejaribu kuimba five times kwa studio nikishindwa kwa sababu ya sometimes me success ile niko nayo leo huyu mama alichangia sana mke wangu alikuwa mtu ameokoka alikuwa mtu wa maombi sana alikuwa anaenda ukambani kula nafunga naomba mkarimu kabisa na aliponiacha yaliniacha na pengo kubwa sana kwa hivyo hivyo nilivyo kanaenda kufanya hii song na kuta hizo emotions zinanifanya zina nashindwa so juzi hapa ndio nilingangana hata hiyo wimbo nimengangana kuimba imenichukulia mwezi mzima nikiimbaga saa zingine naimba inafika mahali unalia unafuta na unajua pia niko na watoto so si kutaka pia nitoe wimba ambao watoto wakisikiliza inawaumiza so i was just trying to be hard to be strong as a man ndio maana unaona nimechukua muda mrefu sana kutoa hiyo wimbo because uh, at the end of the day nilikuwa nasema lazima nimshukuru kwa sababu hiyo pia unajua ile nilifanya sijafanya pia makumbusho naelewa sisi wajaluo tuko na hiki tunitoa rapar yeah so i'm in the process because i've now accepted it is now 6 years nime accept nataka ku move on because lazima maisha ikuwe au watoto wanahitaji mtu anaita mama so ndo na ndio kusafisha njia Takani nifanya makumbusho, zile vita mbazo nikuwa sijafanya, nizifanya, ili nianze chana maisha, mpia. Yeah. Kitu gani liku pusho, kwa nama like now, I have to do this, lazima ni record yo one month. Mm. Kuna majina fulani, unakuta sa zingine ukiongea maali, unambiwa wewe, unaungia nini, wewe ni bachel, unanja kuna watu wajini lipoteza mke, kuna watu wanadhani tu mimi, ni meshindu watu kuowa, alafu pia, vile tu nimekwambia kwamba mtoto anafaa kulelewa na wazazi si mzazi so kuna maswali fulani ya watoto uniuliza saa zingine nashinda kuwajibu unaweza kaba mama atarudi lini baba naona hapo kwa wimbo umesikia nime nikisema kwamba nipindo penja aga pile mama dogo karango watoto wananiuliza baba mama atarudi lini hiyo ni swali ambayo ni ngumu sana lakini kulingana na utandawazi ya sasa hivi na hii ni toka digital life I'll have to tell them ya kwamba e, mama yenu hivi na hivi na hivi lakini Mungu ametupenda ametupatia mama mwingine sasa huyu ndio mama wenu So niko kwa hiyo process I've been praying uh, shida ni kwamba wasichana wetu wengi wameingia TikTok TikTok imewaribu sasa zile unafikiria mwenye unaona ni mzuri ukimpigia simu unakuta hako TikTok 
mwenye unafikiri mzuri unako hangla so nimekuwa na wakati mgumu sana eh, kwa sababu pia my wish and my prayer is at least nipate mtu ambao ako na talent ya uimbaji hata kama anaimba gospel sana sana gospel at least ndio tuweze kwenda pamoja kwa sababu mimi niko na talent ya muziki na hii muziki nataka ni build unajua hata watoto wangu nimeanza kwa train sai na wa train eh, wanaimba imba pole pole hivyo sitaki muziki kufe kwangu na unajua nikikuja kuoa mwanamke mwenye muziki haiko ndani yake hana talent ya muziki atutaelewana ukimwambia tunaenda show atanashindwa hiyo show ndio nini sasa zingine akikupigia simu kosa kushika maybe ulikuwa na perform i mwingi so my prayer and my wish mungu ndio maana umesikia wimbo nimesema nini unikumbuke unaja watu wajaelewa the song nimeimba ile gospel yenye nasema unikumbuke na mlilia mungu anikumbuke anifanyie replacement unajua kwa football kama mko kwa uwanja tuseme namba tisa, ameumia ama let's say namba 11 ambao ni wa left ameumia si wanafanyaga nini replacement wana reshuffle so uwezi ukaingiza namba 11 mwenye mguu yake alefa ifanye kazi so mke wangu alikuwa ni mtu wa gospel alikuwa anaimba mpole sana alikuwa ananiombea ananishauri anani encourage sasa zile niko chini so naomba Mungu anisaidie tu nipate kama huyo na mimi najua inawezekana kwa imani yeah we are wishing you all the best najua Mungu atakuletea mtu ambayo unahitaji sio mm. because wana, Biblia inasema kwamba Mungu anakupatia kitu ambayo ume, u, eh, ile kitu umeomba ndio ya, anakupatia nakusumbua <laughs> nasema shauku ama haja haja ya moyo wako uh-huh. eh ndio Mungu anakupatia eh, Mungu anakupatia unajua what happens when we talk about marriage you cannot weka Mungu pembeni foundation ya marriage ilianza katika shamba la edeni Mungu ndiye alianza marriage so when you want to talk about marriage Mungu anakuwa wa kwanza pale so Mungu anakupatia material material flexible material material adjustable you can make a woman to be what you want to be you want what you want her to be unaelewa um, ndio najua pia kuna wale watu wanaiomba nataka mtu mwenye kwa hivi na hivi Mungu atakupatia tu material tool then umfanye awe jinsi unavyotaka eh so ndio hivyo tu Mungu anisaidia tu anipatie tu material yenye nikisema tuimbe tunaweza imba eh tunaenda church tunaenda church because sisi tulikuwa tumezoea kwenda church kama family nilikuwa naomba church of the Nazarene kule ngatarongai so nakuta siku hizi unakuta saa zingine maybe nimekuwa busy nimeenda shows huko watoto wanakosa pia kwenda kanisa so kidogo hii spiritual na unajua vile hii dunia imefika ime imeenda saa hii watoto wanapolelewa katika msingi sio ya Kikristo ama sio ya Kimungu huenda baadaye wakakuwa tena watoto si wazuri na siwezi penda hiyo hivyo nataka nipate muke ambao pia yeye na Mungu mambo yake iko safi unaelewa ndio tuweze kulea familia yetu katika eh, heshima ama katika msingi ya kumcha Mungu. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Now, uh, nikurudi nyuma kidogo. Uh, wakati nilikuuliza uh, kwamba mtu anaweza sema kwamba u perform because hauna fans. Ukaweza ku mention my girlfriends. So, Kwa labda how many girlfriends do you have? I'm having so many girlfriends. Uh, as per my understanding, a girlfriend means she's a friend and she's a woman. <laughs> she's not a man. <laughs> and uh, nikiangalia hata youtube channel yangu nikiangalia wale subscribers niko na um, ladies more than fi- ladies more than 500 in fact most of my fans are ladies nikienda tiktok pale ni, nikifungua hata live sasa unaona ladies wanakuja wengi so i'm having so many girlfriends yes how many are you dating mm, i'm dating all of them I'm dating all of them because when nikienda kuperform ataka kamega na waambiaga kwamba I have a date with you tonight and they wanakuja na tuna date tunafanya date yetu kukula muziki Yeah 
<laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow, amazing sana. So uh, bro, uh, of course uh, music imeweza kuchange maisha yako. I think vile uh, tu ulisema kwamba you are a product of growth and music pia imeweza kuchange maisha yako. Sawa. Now uh, kumekuwa na story mingi uh, especially kwa Angla music kwamba uh, watu wanaibiana mistari, uh, mtu anaibiana flow at you, uh, Raila TB TB sawa. Mtu pia anakuja na yake wandiga TB. So unapata mistari labda zime z- z- zinafanana ama flow inafanana what can you say about like what wanna sound the same na 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 na, na nyimbo za, za kitambo ama ya mtu ambayo yupo sasa hivi oh number one na hapa ndipo penye tuliko sana na my brother Tommy Sefa do you know what mimi nilifanya song ya Raila Tibim mzuka leo hii ukiamua kufanya song tena Raila Tibim i will remain to be the king it will never change something but pia hiyo kuifanya itanifanya tu kurudi kwa game i want to give you an example and there is this guy anaitwa werason werason akona wimbo moja anaitwa 100 kilos hundred kilos so werason alikuwa show fulani i'm not very sure ilikuwa wapi Ben this guy anaitwa Feregola. Akakuja kwa ile show. Feregola akukua part of the band. Amekuja tu pale kwa ile show. Na unajua hawa Kongole wako na hii tabia ya mtu akiwa show labda anasema, "Ah, mnataka wimbo gani?" Watu wanachagua. Hiyo wimbo nani anazaimba hiyo wimbo? Then Feregola kainua mko. Feregola kainua mkono ya akapewa nafasi ya embe 100 kilos. Sasa Feregola anataka kuonyesha uwezo wake ya vocal. Feregola aliimba ile wimbo vizuri sana. Werason akakuwa na hard time because sasa fans hawataki Feregola atoke kwa stage. Feregola aendelee kuimba. You see? Feregola uh, Werason akasema anatoa pesa yeye. Analpatia Feregola aende studio, I record hiyo wimbo kwa mara ya ngapi? Ya pili. Ndio Feregola anafanya 100 kilos. Unaelewa? Hiyo haikufanya Werason kuisha. Werason alibaki kukua Werason hadi leo. Werason anakuwa baba wa nani wa Feregola. Twende hapa karibu kwetu Tanzania. We have this powerful woman anaitwa Saida Karoli. Chambua kama karanga. Alifanya ile wimbo alafu baadaye Diamond akakuja. Akafanya hiyo song tena. Maria. Mhm. Mm? Hiyo mm-hmm. Salome. Mm-hmm. Alipofanya ile song watu walikuwa wameshaanza kusahau Saida. Sasa watu wanakumbuka, ah, na hii wimbo, hii hey, wimbo si wa fulani. Mm-hmm. Na alienda wapi? Sasa unaona sasa Saida anarudi kwa game, kwa game. Na nipata vizuri points zangu. Juzi hapa <coughs> Akode Akode alienda akachukua wimbo yangu hiyo ya TB akalupa akachukua track ile yangu tu ikatolewa vocals ikabaki track vile iko instrumental vile instrumental na hii instrumental mimi ndo nilipiga akaiiba sawa akaimba nayo mama hii mama Ida nilikasirika sana lakini baadaye nikakumbuka hasira biblia inasema hasira hukaa kifuani mwa wapumbavu nikakumbuka kwamba ah mimi niliimba nani? Raila. Mke wake Raila nani? Mama Ida. Mimi natoka wapi? Ujaluoni. Akoa natoka wapi? Ujaluoni. Kwa hivyo wajaluo mwanaume kaimba baba. Mjaluo mwanamke kaimba mama. Kosa iko wapi? Hakuna kosa gani nikamwambia kodea awe piga muziki. <laughs> kaende kae. Kaende kaende. So Biblically the Bible says hakuna jambo jipya chini ya jua. Hizi nyimbo tunaimba zile shaimbwagwa, sisi tunarudia tu. So ukiwa msanii mwenye kilitimamu, mtu akiiba imbo yako ama akichukua imbo yako aenda record. Fanya hivi, ah, kumbe niko sawa. Kwa sababu kitu kibaya kiwezi kikaibigwa. 
mwizi mjinga mgani ataenda kuiba kitu kitu kibaya Unaelewa? Mimi wakati natoaga nyimbo naweka YouTube naona watu wananitusi nafanyaga hapo imeingia kwa sababu kama ingekuwa msimba hata wasingeongelelea. You see? But we ought to understand that uh, talents ni tofauti. Kuna watu ni wazuri wa kuandika nyimbo na kuna watu ni wazuri kwa sauti. Unaelewa? Na kuna watu ni wazuri kwa kuperform. Kwa mfano Atomi sifa ajui kuimba. Atomi sifa ajui kuandika nyimbo, nyimbo zake hazina message. Lakini akisimama kwa podium, hiyo wimbo yake mbaya. Anaiperform mpaka we unaifeel. Na hiyo yako mzuri, unarudi nayo nyumbani. Nimemfanya Melast kwa industry paka le. He can perform well. Then those are talents. Wakina Diamond unaonaga usifikiri hizo nyimbo zote kwa Diamond wanangara nazo ni zao zingine wananunua There are some people who are very good in writing songs but they cannot sing them Somebody like me ukiniambia nikupigia guitar I cannot play guitar but ikilia anakuambia pana hebu piga hivi you see I can direct niko na hiyo knowledge lakini nikiambiwa hiyo kitu unasema na mdomo hebu ipige siwezi ipiga you understand na hizo pia ni talents too so wenye wanaona wanaweza survive kwa kuiba kazi ni kazi kama kama uwizi ndio utakufanya survive kwa industry mimi pia simuibeko yangu yawa yes unajua when wakati zako aziibiwi zina inamaanisha hauna vitu poa hmm? ukiona kwako watu wa kutembelea hivi wewe you have nothing to offer people so mimi nataka ku advise wasanii. Tuache kuleta chuki miongoni mwetu na kuanza kuleta ile tabia ilikuwa kitambo. Unajua kitambo kama ungesema tu unaenda unataka kwenda kuimba, mzazi anaweza hata kukufunga, aenda kufunge porini kwa sababu walikuwa naona kama umepotea. Umza, u, u, wana muziki ni watu wenye u, u, watu muziki ni watu wanaoana. Ukienda kuimba huko watakuwa mwanangu tusirudi huko. Unaelewa? When you do something good you're not doing it for yourself you're doing it for people watu wafanye challenge mimi sasa hii kuna nini nimefungwa nimefungua platform fulani inaitwa jionyeshe platform where you can come and sing hata ukiimba wimbo ya prince inda tukisikia unaimba vizuri tuna record when you are recording you song ya prince inda unaenda unaenda zidi tu ku promote prince inda because it is he is the founder wa hii kitu unaelewa so msanii mwenye akilitimamu akisikia wimbo yake mtu mwingine ameimba hawezi kukasirika nikupatie mfano mzuri angalia ndombolo ndombolo imeimbwa na watu wangapi ndombolo 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 JP Mpiana Kofio Lomide Falipu Upa eh, Felix Wazekwa Extra Muzika wote wanaimba ndombolo kwa sababu gani Wao kitu iki, msanii akifanya kitu mzuri wasanii wengine wanachukua wanaiendeleza wanazidi kujenga nayo. Na hii ndio maana unaona leo hii wakongo watakuja hapa Kenya na wakuja waimbe hiyo kilingala usikii wanaimba nini na wanakata pesa mingi sana hapa kwa na wanarudi kongo yao. Sisi bado tumekaa na wivu, chuki, fitina na kujigamba na kujiona ni kama sisi ndio kusema. Msanii ameimba wimbo moja tu watu wawili wakadan sasa yeye ni king. Eti sasa hata hizi salimia watu eti sasa yeye aweze akitembea kwa barabara sasa anataka kuvaa longi paka my friend mimi hiyo kwanza hiyo bonsa sio mimi nasemaga hivi kama sahi muziki yetu ya kijaluo hii ya hangla is really doing good we appreciate the likes of akina ward fibi engineer wame promote sana hii mambo ya hangla imeenda kwa level ya juu akina prince inda wamekuja wakangangana nayo imepanda kwa hiyo hangla ndio kusema kenya When you talk about Kenyan music sasa unikama unaongelea tu hangla. E, unapopiga hangla sasa hii unaweza kuta mkikuyu anakuja ku dance, mkamba, mluya ABCD. But sisi yetuendi kwa zao kwa sababu gani yeti kodi. So let's promote this thing. Prince Inda ametoa song kali, song poa la like Kosepe Inda. Unaelewa? The song Kosepe. We promote that. Kila msanii aenda imbe, haina shida. So that tuweze kupandisha culture yetu ipande juu na juu 
na juu zaidi so mimi i'm not for hizo kelele za chura za sijui nimeiba sijui na nikafanya nini abc those are petty and pettiness yeah Bro before tumalize labda unaweza ambia uh, wasani uh, of course na mafans uh, wa music ambayo mnafanya unaweza ambia nini uh, what i can tell them ni kwamba na nitakuuliza swali pia wewe hapo kati ya naye lipa pesa na naye lipwa pesa nani boss an- an- anaye lipa ndio boss anaye toa pesa kupeana kama wewe vile nilikuomba tao tao vile utatoa sasa wewe ndio boss sawa <laughs> kati ya wasanii na fans wakina nani wanapeanaga mwingine pesa wasanii wanapatiaga fans pesa ama fans ni wanapatiaga wasanii pesa fans ni wanapeana pesa kwa wasanii sasa nani tajiri nani boss fan ndio boss sasa wasanii wajue fans wao ndio boss wao unawekea fans boss wako unawekea bonsas wengine waleenda maisha vuta bangi Unakuta bonsa alikuwa gym labda saa zingine chuma ilianguka ikamgonga mguu wako na hasira nataka kwenda kusukuma fans wako ambao ndio boss wako unaelewa msanii yeyote mwenye alafu there is something here kume change kumebadilika tuko digital life hii mambo ya wasanii kujifanya matawi ya juu yeye yeah, hezi enda kukaa na watu wa wale mali penye watu wapo hata kwa TikTok huko na kutaka wa live fulani na hezi ingia yeye yeah, 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 yeah. yani inafika makali wanafika mahali kibutu kilikuwa kimeparara hapa nje eti kimeimba mimi moja imesikika unampigia simu na kupatia tuongee na manager yeah, sure, sure. I've, I've been in the same situation that is stupidity <laughs> ujinga ya hali ya juu Mzuka mimi utanipigia simu hata kama ni sangapi nitapokea simu kwa sababu ni boss sana nipigie simu. Media. Ukadharau fans. Wewe kuisha. Na ujue kitu kimoja hata kama unaimba kama malaika. Hata kama leo hii utapanga show kwe na fans milioni moja. Hao hao fans wakikubali wakiamua leo hawataki onyi. Sasa wao ni wamuzuka. The same same fans wataenda na unajua si kama kitambo ile mtu alikuwa anatoa wimbo wimbo inakaa mwaka moja ndio hit leo hii unaweza kutoa wimbo leo kesho ime hit kwa sababu tuko na social media una where you can sell you see alafu <laughs> kuna kwa na na kidindaga nini resist watu wake kuresist wakaamua ku support mtu fulani atakaye manaimba mbaya ah uta, utashangaa sana you see so wasanii kukua msanii sio kukua malaika kukua msanii kuimba wimbo inajulikana sio kukufanya sasa etu jione sasa wewe wewe ni mtu mwingine tofauti you are still be human being bado unalala unakula unaenda chuo kama hawa watu wengine wewe ndi binadamu tu kama hawa na hawa wenye unaringia au ndio ma fans wako ambao ni bosses wako sitaringia mtu yeyote mimi nitazidi kukua loyal local kwa watu mimi niko na watu mtaani hivyo tunatembea ndio saa zile niko juu maisha ikuwe safi na zile siku pia nikiwa chini ikuwe tu safi kwa sababu sitaona unajua depression inaongoza wasanii wengi kwa sababu gani anapokuwa jua anapandisha maisha siku ameshuka sasa anashindwa ai hao watu nilikuwa nimewadharau akinitarudi aje kwao depression inafanya nini inamua ujue nothing ainaga mwisho ile famous uko leo kesho utakuwa sisi wengine unaona hapa tunapigia president simu anashika sisi wengine unaona hapa nikienda kijijini kwenu wananijua unanielewa leo hii hata ukienda state house useme nilikuwa na onyi ah ulikuwa na onyi eh onyi anajulikana na onyi fulani unaelewa lakini hiyo haifanyi niringie watu kwa sababu gani hiyo state house sitaenda forever kuna president mwingine atakuja hapo unaelewa hata jinsi gani nakaje na watu ndio maana unaona sasa kingine nikipata kidogo naendea naenda mtani huko kama ndandora wapi na gawa unga ni watu wanadhanga kama eti mimi na eti na haribu mali ebisi hapana hawa watu ndio bosses wangu i'm just giving back unaelewa na zaidi niko nataka niongee na wale watu wenye wako na talent talent huwezi kununua you cannot buy the talent lakini talent inaweza leta utajiri utajiri azileta talent so wewe kama uko pale nje uko una, una feel Yaani ndani yako unasikia una kama niko na kawimbo fulani yani niko na wimbo fulani nikiimba hii wimbo mambo yangu safi nitatoka tafuta Tibim Family International kwa platform inaitwa Jonyeshe platform imba wimbo yako hapo tukikuona tutakuita hapa studioni 
we will record you free we will promote you free na siku moja ukienda nje uhit upate ka kitu na wewe pia ukumbuke ku giving ku give back to the society ndio tuendelee kujijenga usilete maringo ukiba, ukisaidika wewe pia saidia mwingine hata sisi unatuona leo hii tulisaidiwa mimi kuna MCA moja kwa Dandora anaitwa Mheshimiwa Daniel Odhiamboria yeye ni wa ODM na sasa mimi niko UDA lakini huyo tu ndio mtu mwenye sezi nikamgeuka huyo ndio mtu mwenye akisema left nitaenda tu kwa sababu amenitoa mbali na kumbuka kalipo nitoa kama sio mheshimiwa Dano ria hapa Dandora mimi bado ningekuwa takataka tu ningekuwa bado naangaika huko nje lakini aliniamini alini trust wakati nilimwambia naweza imba akaniambia hebu jaribu kuniimba na nikamuimba wimbo yake ikakuwa mzuri na nikabadilisha ikakuwa Raila Tibim mimi naheshimu mheshimiwa Dano ria kwa sababu kama sio yeye hata watu wote wasingenijua hata mheshimiwa rais leo hii asingenijua nimejulikana kwa sababu ya yule Dandora ndio maana unaonaaga mimi vitu zangu zote Dandora 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 baka watu wanasema Dandora ni nini uchawi gani hapana hapo ndipo penye kuna nyota wasanii wengi wametoka hii Dandora bwana unaona hii Dandora watu wanaonaaga ni slam sijui ni sijui ni kama ni dump site Dandora imebeba talent na Dandora iko na breakthrough unaelewa ukitaka kujua real life ukitaka test life ya Nairobi Dandora ukitaka kujua vile mambo inaendaga Dandora ukitaka kujua vile crime inafanyikaga Dandora Dandora hapa iko na mambo mengi sana yes So I respect what wa Dandora na zaidi Mungu azidi kubariki mheshimiwa Daniel Odhiamboria. Nilisikia na sahihi ako na vision ya kutaka kuwa MP na namuombea tu na vile aliniamini akaniinua nikafika sema popo niko leo Daniel Odhiamboria pamoja na mheshimiwa Oyugi Dor kwa wenye Oyugi Dor Dor alikuwa msimamo hapa Embakasi North. Baadaye ameenda 20 2022 alizenda kasimama ugonja anaitwa Frederick Oyugi Dor sasa anaitwa Food eh, Frederick Odhiambo Oyugi Dor Food kitaka chakula tafuta Dor so hawa ni viongozi ambao walibadilisha maisha yangu sana waliamini talent niliyokuwa nayo hata wimbo yangu hiyo ya Tibim huyo Dor tu ndiye alisponsor huyo Dor tu bado ndio tena bado amenileta pia huku UDA so sasa hii tuko huku UDA tuna tunasukuma gurudumu la mheshimiwa rais William Samuel Ruto tukiwa pamoja sasa hivi anasimama siaya kama chairman na najua 2022 2027 eh aliniambia kitu fulani anataka lakini tunamuombea Dor Munga aweze kumbariki na mimi nazidi tu kuambia kama wananisikiliza Frederick Oyugi Dor popote pale ulipo jinsi tu ulivyobadilisha maisha yangu usichoke sasa hivi kampuni yangu imekuwa kubwa studio ni kubwa najua vijana wengi wanakimbia kwako wanataka msaada ya kimuziki walete hapa tubadilisha maisha yao jinsi ulivyobadilisha maisha yangu mimi pia na Mungu awabariki sana Amen. yeah thank you so much thank you mzuka so yeah. once again guys eh, tafadhali ingia kwa platform ambayo inaitwa jionyeshe tafuta tibi family record i'm going to try that naenda kuonyesha uh, uwezo wangu wa kuimba nitapiga mistari hapo ajua uh, by good luck uh, nitakuwa one of the artists ambayo watakuwa na record hapa tibi family sawa and once again thank you so much guys uh, nikimaliza hapa karibu na onyi tumeka youtube link yake tafadhali hapo kwa screen eh. click hapo utakuwa umesubscribe kwake na hapa pia karibu na mimi ni youtube ya mzuka kibao please eh. subscribe kwa both na mambo itakuwa amazing sana see you next time guys tukumbuke pia mungu oh yeah. mm-hmm. tukumbuke mungu ndugu zangu mm-hmm. ndio tumana tunasema tuambie tu mungu atukukumbuke tu mimi nimelilia mungu kwa hiyo wimbo yangu nimetoa inaitwa nikumbuke nimewaambia mungu hivi anavyokumbuka wale mabishops watakatifu wale wenye wanafunga na kuomba na kunena kwa lugha wale wameokoka sana hata mimi onyiti bimi mwenye dhambi anikumbukeko mm. so kawaida once again kama each and every time ambia Mungu akumbuke vile amekumbuka watu wengine wewe pia asikuache nyuma kuna mwimbaji aliimba kwamba nikumbuke vile umekumbuka meku, watu wengine so each and every day we try to remind god kwamba ah mungu nikumbushe ama nifikirie ni, ni each and every time at least eh, akuwaze because kama uombi mungu pia labda anaweza sana sahau mambo yako sawa see you next time guys kama kawaida subscribe kwenye hapa chini mzuka kibao hapa chini bye bye